know it's been a week since I have been on because I had to do some things around the house and spend time with my kids and we had a good old time but now I am back. We're going to do a part two to a video that I made back in June I think it was the emergency complete meal kits. You know you put them in a little storage bag. This I, I love it. I started this channel in hopes that I could help people fight food insecurity. I just I, it has a soft spot in my heart. I just when it comes to food, I, I want to make sure everybody's taken care of. And I panic over it. And I want my kids to always be food secure. You know? So, it's an unhealthy obsession. But I'm using it to get out. Get it out there on YouTube. Anyways, these meal kits are perfect for, like, just those busy nights when you don't know what to make. And you don't want to go spend money at a restaurant. Just go grab one of your emergency meal kits. The whole thing is right there in the bag. Everything in these bags... They are shelf stable. Another thing, people commented on my last video saying it was perfect for like hurricane areas, areas where you need to prepare for like natural disasters. Um, all they needed um, was like a can opener to throw in there and the little tote that they keep these in. It's perfect. This is perfect for those times when your bank account's running low and you don't have money to run to the grocery store. You don't have to search your pantry, your fridge, your freezer for a meal. You can just go down there to your emergency meal kit tote, pick one out. You got dinner ready to go. This is perfect. I love this. This is like one of my favorite things to share with you guys. I, I absolutely love it. Um, also, Ryder's being really weird behind the camera, so I'm very sorry. Come here. Ryder, you have to show everybody your hair. He's just weird. Don't he look pretty? Oh, wait. <laughs> Everybody says he looks like Harry Styles. Do you think he does? I don't see it. I see his father. Come back. Come back, Ryder. Look at it. Do you think my child looks like Harry Styles? Comment below. Tell me yes or no. A lot of people have said it in the comments before. I just don't understand. I don't see it. I see his daddy. Dusty. <laughs> I just not seeing it. Anyways, back to my point. So enough of me babbling. Let's get started on these meal kits. What you're gonna need is freezer bags, storage bags. You're gonna need some really big storage bags. I use gallon because that's all my area has. They work just fine. Um, and you're gonna need the food. And a can opener if you want a can opener. I look at the expiration date. The closest date to me I put it on the bag so I can use it up before it goes bad. But I want to shut up one more time and I want to show you a few of our favorite meal kits. Part two. Look at this whole mess. Yep. This will become emergency meal kits. All right, guys, this is our first meal kit we are going to be making. A chicken pot pie but not with pie crust we're going to be using buttermilk biscuit mix and this is water only all you're going to need is some chicken pot pie mix this is a dollar at walmart two mixed vegetable medleys i like the ones with potatoes of course what I showed you, the buttermilk biscuit mix. And I got two of the small cans of chicken breast. You can get a large one if you want, but it was cheaper to get two small. And I'm gonna look at the dates. This is April 23, 25. Oh, wow. So the closest date would be this one, April 2023. So I'm gonna put that on my bag. Emergency meal kit number one, chicken pot pie. The next emergency meal kit is a 
broccoli casserole. Normally, it would call for like frozen or fresh chopped broccoli, but that's not shelf stable. So we improvise. I got broccoli, cheese, soup, a cream of mushroom, some evaporated milk, and instant rice. The brown rice was cheaper. In the description box below, I will put all of the recipes down there so you can have easy access. And one day soon, I will do a video showing you guys how to make all of these. So, once again, we're going to look for the date. And we're going to write the closest expiration date on the bag so that it doesn't go out of date. Almost too big, but we made it work. Like I said, gallon size is the only size I could find. But hey, she worked. There's meal kit number two. Emergency meal kit number three. Chili casserole. Meatless chili casserole. We are going to be using a can of light red kidney beans, a can of chili beans, tomato sauce, some rotel, an extra can of light kidney beans to replace the meat, a packet of chili seasoning, and add water only cornbread mix. You cook this up just like you would a chili, put it in a casserole dish, you mix this up, put it on top, and bake it. Easy peasy and delicious. I'm trying to take away pain Try my best to refrain from being the same As all these other low lifes that probably don't remember your name And all your ex is sitting left, I'm trying to home run Trying to make you happy, make a difference in a long run So trust me when I say I'm swollen shut I'm spilling out my Emergency meal kit number three Chili casserole all Right, the next emergency meal kit Bear Creek cheddar potato soup All you need is water I like to add a little bit of bacon to our cheddar soup. Now, I know a lot of people like to eat rolls or cornbread with their potato soup, but you have got to try Hush Puppies with your potato soup. This is add water or milk, but it's add water. So you don't need anything extra. It's all shelf stable. So let's check the expiration dates. Because you opened up and now I'm going dumb when we touch. Yeah, I'm not saying that we're picture perfect, but I'm saying that we fit proportion. I'm showing you that we're more than love because Emergency meal kit number four, cheddar tater soup with bacon and hush puppies. Back in the day when Dusty and I were super poor, <laughs> we used to live off of those homestyle bake meal kits. You remember they came in the box? So this is kind of me paying homage to that. Um, this is one of our favorite ones that we used to make and it just brings back good memories. So I make it occasionally and it is perfect for a pantry emergency meal kit. You're going to need country gravy mix, buttermilk biscuit mix, a can of green beans, chicken, and instant potatoes. This is add water only. So what you do, you just mix up your potatoes. Put the green beans in a casserole dish, put the potatoes on top of it. Then you're going to mix up your country gravy the way that the back of the packet says, and you're gonna put your chicken chunks in it. Pour that over the mashed potatoes, and then top with your biscuit mix the way that it says to make it on the back. And you bake it, and it's really good. Emergency meal kit, a homestyle baked chicken and gravy. Emergency meal kit number six. This is a hash brown casserole. Hash brown casseroles call for cheese. Cheese is not shelf stable, my friends. So we use shelf stable cheddar cheese Campbell's soup. You just put them in a casserole dish, add all that you see here, maybe some salt and pepper, 
and a little bit of water, probably one can full of water. Bake it up. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. These little bitty containers of potatoes are for a family of seven. So imagine how many two make, right? <laughs> 14, Brooke. Duh. 14. <laughs> Another emergency meal kit, hash brown casserole. Emergency meal kit number seven. This one is super simple, but it is shelf stable, so it works. Pesto, small can of chicken, pasta. We're gonna make some pesto pasta chicken. This is all we need. Super simple, super easy and crazy cheap. There, another emergency meal kit. Pesto pasta with chicken. All right, guys, emergency meal kit number eight, I think. Taco soup. All you're going to need corn, dark red kidney beans, petite diced tomatoes, light red kidney beans, taco mix, and normally it calls for hamburger meat. Hamburger meat isn't shelf stable. Unless you can it, of course, like I do, but a lot of people don't do that. So instead of hamburger meat, we're going to be substituting black beans. Emergency meal kit number eight, taco soup. Last one for this video until I do a part three. Um, this one is self-explanatory. We're going to be making some broccoli alfredo and we're going to add some bacon pieces and a can of chicken. Self-explanatory, super simple, and it's shelf stable. I hate the fact that you only listen to what they say. I've never been the type to listen. Now they hit the replay. It's funny how these things happen. Never had a delay. Cause everything I'm seeing comes to life and I'll see fake. I only see the real link. Alfredo with chicken and bacon. Here are nine emergency meal kits for your emergency food storage. The home stall. Bake, chicken and gravy, chili casserole, cheddar tater soup with the hush puppies, Alfredo with the broccoli and the chicken and the bacon, um, broccoli casserole, chicken pot pie, taco soup, pesto pasta, and hash brown casserole. Nine shelf stable meals in case of an emergency. I will put all the recipes in the description box below. I will also put the price of everything in the description box below. Please consider um, starting some type of emergency food storage for your family. If you live in an apartment in a city or you just have no storage space, consider this option and you can get a storage tote and you can put them in there with a can opener, put it under your bed, put it in your closet, in the top of your closet, put it in the corner in your bedroom. Oh, I don't know what to make for dinner tonight. I'm super busy. Oh, I just grabbed one of my emergency food storage bags. And I'm gonna have some hash brown casserole tonight. The whole thing is in here. Super easy. Oh no, I'm low on funds. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna make for dinner? I don't know. My emergency food kit knows a chicken pot pie. The whole thing is in here. I love this idea. I hope this inspires you to start your emergency food storage some way. Together, we can fight food insecurity. If you guys have ideas on how to do some little nifty food storage ideas like this, leave them in the comments down below. Um, the next video that I'm gonna share with you guys with my emergency food storage I'm going to show you how to do sweets, like little desserts in an emergency bag. I know we don't need sweets in an emergency, but like when you are low on funds and your kids want a sweet treat, it kind of breaks your heart that you're not able to give it to them. So if you have a sweet treat emergency bag, you fix the problem. Until next time, I will see you later. Remember to always be positive and kind. 
Um, also, if you guys would like to join my Facebook group, I'll leave a link down below. It's a community where we all just like to have fun and share tips and tricks. And it's really fun there. And everybody's really nice and nobody hurts anybody's feelings. We have a lot of great people in that group. Also, you can follow me on Instagram. I forget I have it, but hopefully one day soon I will not forget I have it. <laughs> I will see you later. Bye. I love you.